Hare Krishna. Good morning, my dear Prabhus, dear Matajis. Thank you for joining our morning japa session and welcome sa ating mga kidamidot podcast, the study of the Srimad Bhagavatam. And you know the drill. Hare Krishna. <laughs> Chandika Radha Mataji. Moksha Lakshmi Mataji. Lari Mataji. Hmm. Rasarani Mataji. Rali Prabhu. Oliver Prabhu. Pablo Prabhu. Naimi. Mataji Bhakti and Riza. And those who will war watching sa ating um, Facebook Live. We should be the, in the right mood, the mood of request, the mood of um, humility in approaching our Srimad Bhagavatam study. So, join me as we recite the invocation mantras. Hopefully, kabisado niya na after 100 plus sessions na din. <laughs> But yeah. Om Namo Bhagavate Vashrudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vashrudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vashrudevaya Narayanam Namaskritya Naram Chaiva Narotamam Devim Sarasvatim Vyasam Tato Jayam Mudirayet Nashta Prayashu Abhadreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavati Utamas Loke Bhaktir Bhavati Naishtiki I offer my obeisances to the Supreme Personality of God, Vasudev. Before reciting this Srimad Bhagavatam, which is the very means of conquest, one should offer respectful obeisances to the personality of God at Narayan, and to Nara Narayan Rishi, the supermost human being, and to Mother Saraswati, the goddess of learning, and unto Sri Rabrasadev, the author. By regular attendance in classes on the Bhagavatam, and by rendering of service to the pure devotee, All that is troublesome to the heart is almost completely destroyed. And loving service to the personality of God, with praise, with transcendental songs, is established as an irrevocable fact. So yes, we discussed two days ago <laughs> regarding the... Um, Some answers from the question ni Narada Munikai, uh, Lord Brahma, sinagot yung um, Yad Rupam and Yad Atistam, Yad Param. Ano yung symptoms daw ng universe? Ano daw yung saan siya naka-shelter? Saka, saan siya naka-depend yung universe? And continuously, we, were, we will learn doon sa ibang mga question ni um, Narada Muni na um, paano daw na-create yung universe yata shristam and also yan and also how it is mm, created and conserved yata shristam yata samstam So, tuloy-tuloy natin naaaralin yun. Si Lord Burma is tuloy-tuloy niya kinukwento. Kung baga, if he created something, if you, I don't know, I love to talk, talking to um, different artists or creators, tatanong mo sila how they made a painting or they created this, they created this sculpture or any um, creation nila. Ang sarap tanongin kasi um, they would have um, always tell the story ano yung nag-inspire sa kanan para gawin yon, Tapos, paano nagsimula? Ano yung mga elements na ginawa nila? Maraming backstory. <laughs> so, those are artists. Alam mo naman, pag may kausap kang artist, minsan talagang um, parang may may firework sa utak nila then when they're trying to speak. They, they are trying to catch yung mga fireworks na yon and telling it into a story. Si Lord Burma, ganun din. He told a lot of stories about it. Much more is the Um, yung glorification niya kay Krishna. In a humble mood, he mentioned 
um, because of Krishna's mercy, nangyari to. And hindi niya si kinukwento yung creation niya mismo lang. Umatras pa siya. Paano din siya na-create? <laughs> paano na-create yung kung paano siya um, yung place kung saan siya nag, um, nag-appear, paano na-create yon? Ganun si Lord Brahma. Ganun din yung knowledge ni Lord Brahma. So, we will continue to read sa ating um, 21st text. Srimad Bhagavatam, second canto, The Cosmic Manifestation. We are at the chapter, um, fifth chapter, Cause of All Causes. And yes, previously, ginisikas din Lord Brahma na difference niya between um, the Supreme Creator. Siya yung secondary creator. He is also Jiva Tattva, or a soul, in that position. Pero it's, it's very different kay Vishnu Tattva, or Krishna's expansion as Lord Vishnu. So, ikukwento na niya paano yung creation ni Lord Vishnu, ni Krishna to, to Vishnu, and to Vishnu, how it is, um, the universe is created, and then paano siya, saan siya papasok in the future. Pero malayo pa yun. <laughs> So, text number 20, I mean, 21. Translation. The Lord, who is the controller of all energies, thus creates, by His own potency, eternal time, the fate of all living entities, and their natural, particular nature, for which they were, were created, and He again merged them independently. Yes. Ito, ito, ito si allergy ngayong araw na to. <laughs> mm, si Lord Brahma is telling, he started saying na si Krishna, the controller of all energies, creates he, by his own potency sa sarili niya. Yung eternal time, the fate of all living entities, yung destiny ng isang living entities, and particular nature. Of course, we know the different um, spiritual and material nature na gawa ni Krishna. And this creation is always being created and related again and again. So, paulit-ulit siya. Umiikot-ikot siya. The material creation is something like a cloud in the unlimited sky. So, ito yung creation. Minsan naw- nawawala. Minsan andun. And the universe is like that. Si Mahavishnu, we have three Vishnus. Mahavishnu, Garbo Dakashay Vishnu, and um, Chiro Dakashay Vishnu. Si Mahavishnu, tiyatawag din siyang Karano Dakashay Vishnu. Kasi he is lying on the Karano Ocean. Or Ka- um, Karuna Ocean. So yes, um, in summary na itong verse na to, we are actually the controller ng ating fate, ng destiny. Kasi with this creation, um, it will be impregnated by Mahavishnu, by His glance. Mamaya yung didiscuss natin kung paano nag-create, nag-create yung, yung dual material cre- nature, material creation. Pero pumasok dun yung spiritual energy ni Krishna na the souls, spirit souls. Just like um, yung impregnation, it will be the uh, impregnation of a father to the mother. But si Krishna could always do that in different forms. Just like uh, Mahavishnu's um, glance. This um, creation was agitated. Then napunta na yung mga spirit soul doon. Gumalaw na siya. So, pagpunta ng mga souls doon because of their desire, starting that um, desire, from that st- desire, doon nagka-flow kung ano yung fate ng mga tao. Ano yung desire nila, ano yung um, thinking, willing, and feeling, ano yung actions. So, whatever we have now, ito yung what we deserve. 
this is our um, activities, our desire, previous lives. Ano yung meron tayo ngayon? Good ba yan or bad ba yan? That's part of it. So, may mga nagkatalang nga ano yung difference between fate and destiny. Um, uh, it's, it's interrelated. At the same time, yung future natin, nakadepende kung anong ginagawa natin ngayon. And anong nangyari sa atin ngayon, nakadepende kung anong ginawa natin dati. So, we are somewhat in control kung anong pipitan in the future. Not 100%, but a lot of it is based on what we will desire, what we will, we will decide, what we will um, act. So, we are the the one who will determine kung ano yung destiny or yung fate din natin. So, ganun din. With this creation, um, it will be discussed kung paano nang ginawa yun. Pero yung souls nandun sa creation na yun, yung travel niya in different journeys niya, in different life, different time, different experiences, depende sa mga decision making ng soul na yun. Again, ano yung hindi ginagawa or hindi ginagalaw ni Krishna with his creation is our free will. That minute free will will determine kung saan yung trajectory ng buhay natin. Hawak mo pa rin yung manibela. Although, maraming factors sa paligid natin na could be, um, could uh, take effect. So yes, um, this creation, Karano Dakashay Vishnu, uh, to be much more specific, <laughs> Actually, sobrang specific to. It was discussed here in the second canto. It will be discussed in the third canto. And much more in detail, um, i-discuss sa fifth canto, this creation. Hindi lahat ng mga nag-aaral di, um, about this creation would believe kasi wala sila nakitang ganito pa. The other creation uh, philosophy that they believe is Big Bang Theory, um, Ano pa ba yung mga theory nila? Basta madami silang theory, of course. Pero this is in detail, scientific. Uh, at the same time, nakikita rin kung paano yung destruction. I think that's the, the third canto. Titignan din, sabi, pag-usapan din doon sa Sanctia philosophy from the creation to destruction. Ngayon, mostly, pinag, uh, papag-usapan natin is the, the creation. So, Karada Kashay Vishnu, is the expansion of Krishna or Mahavishnu. So, he is also Lord Swamsa. Pero, he is lying in the ocean of Karano. Kaya tawag na yun sa ano siya, um, transcendental slumber. He is not asleep. It's a transcendental slumber. As he breathes, breathes in, breathes out, um, yung creation nandun. Um, from his pores, tumalabas yung innumerable, countless universes. So, parang before nangyari yun, there is what we call pradhan. That is the subtle energy ni Krishna. Subtle means, ibig sabihin, hindi umahawakan, hindi siya gross. So, by this, inactive yun. And mangyayari, uh, parang unmix na mga ingredients. Yan yung creation. Kahit tinatanong ni ni Narada Muni, ano daw yung um, yatrish, uh, shirishtam, creation of the universe. Yan. How it is created. So, anong ingredients nun, andun siya, the pradan. It will, it will be turned into mahatatva pag na-agitate na siya. Paano ma-agitate yon By Lord Vishnu's glance. Ganun lang yon Time will be there and the souls will be there and it will move. Doon nagsimula yun. So the creation, um, gross creation is called Mahatatva. The subtle creation is Pradhan. So mga technical terms lang naman yun. Tapos it is affected by goodness and um, passion. From this, ito na yung kakaibang mangyari. Basahin natin. Text number 22. After the incarnation of the first Purusha, Karanadaka, Karana, Karanarava, so iba yung pronunciation, 
karana karanar nabasa yi <laughs> oh, ano Vishnu the Mahatattva or the principles of principles of material creation takes place and then time is manifested and in course of time the three qualities appear nature means the three qualitative appearance they transform into activities so this um, appearance ng time will be the cause of the appearance of material nature the three modes of material nature that's Krishna's energy parent pero doon ng galing yung expansion and yung creation this very detail na hindi lang sinabing si Krishna na create ato na yung expansion niya si uh, Mahavishnu yung na create din noon so iba ba to sa create ni Lord Brahma so si Lord Brahma nagbacktrack yung process ng creation so yes this kala supreme kala or time is the cause no uh, pag move pati yung time create <laughs> and pag move na ito material energy so let's continue text number 23 tapos let's discuss na lang material activities are caused by the mahatattvas being agitated at first there is transformation of the modes of goodness and passion later due to the modes of ignorance matter is knowledge and matter its knowledge and different activities of material knowledge come into play <laughs> So because of the influence of the this these three modes of material nature, the knowledge and different activities of material knowledge comes into play. So do nag move na. And of course, si um, Krishna may expansion niya na guna avatar. This means si Vishnu, Brahma, and si Lord Shiva. Si Bish- Vishnu is the one. Um, in the for the creation, Lord Brahma is I, sorry, Brahma is the secondary crea- uh, creator, Vishnu is the maintainer, and Shiva is the destroyer. At the same time, si um, Brahma is the mode of passion, si Vishnu is the mode of goodness, and si Shiva is the mode of ignorance. So these modes, handled by these three guna avatars, is also um, part. And agitate niya siya, no? Nagkaroon ng time sa creation. And after that, this is very important, basahin natin. The self-centered materialistic ego. So, even the ego is created. And ito yung history niya. Ito yung reason para siya nagawa. I mean, ito yung ano, this re- ito yung reason, at the same time, ito rin yung um, process. Text number 24. The self ma- self centered materialistic ego, thus being transformed into three features, becomes known as the modes of goodness, passion, and ignorance in three divisions namely, the power that evolve matter, knowledge, and material creations, and the intelligence that guides such materialistic activities. Narada, you are quite competent to understand this. <laughs> So yes, the materialistic ego or the sense of identification with matter is grossly self-centered. It is devoid of clear knowledge of the existence of God. So this self-centered egoism because of the soul being there as well, um, they will be affected by this. This is part of the material nature. One thinking that he is the center of this creation. Also, th- it is um, called Ahankara, and it will be um, predominantly under the three modes of material nature. That variety of goodness, passion, and ignorance will give the experience to the soul. So, a new fate and destiny. And sabi nga nila, uh, variety is the mother of enjoyment. So if a, um, a person or a living entity, the soul, is experiencing all these three, dun yun, dun yun nakikita yung, dun yun nararamdam yung enjoyment, dun yun nagkakaroon ng experience. So that is still the, um, what we have now. One will suffer, tapos pag nawala yung suffering na yun, babalik na yung enjoyment, o oh, yan, sarap. <laughs> then will, one will be passionate about something. So this variety, this mixture, 
of the emotional nature makes the soul suffer or enjoy his experience in this material nature. And because of false ego, he is thinking and he's being attached to that. He is thinking also that he is the center of this creation. Self-centered materialistic egoism or ankara. This is what we call false ego. It is very hard to overcome this material nature of Krishna. Only by Krishna's mercy, if one surrendered to Krishna, one could over overcome this. Because um, this is the desire of the uh, soul. Bahat na punta yung soul na yun sa uh, material nature. Originally, we all came from the spiritual world. Paano na punta doon? Because we had a desire, or until now we have desires, to lord it over material nature. We're thinking, and we want to enjoy outside of Krishna. We want to be the controller. And yes, bibigyan ni Krishna yun. That's one of the reasons bakit kanya ay itong material um, nature, material universe. Because we have desires and Krishna is fulfilling our desires. But of course, habang ginagawa niya yun, He is with us sa creation na ito. From Mahavishnu, the second um, Vishnu is Garbhodakasha Vishnu. Third is Chirodakasha Vishnu or the Super Soul. Means Krishna will come with us in this experience um, here in material world to guide us. Again, not controlling our free will, but there as a witness, at the same time as a guide. He is giving all the options, the how do I call it, the signs of Krishna consciousness for us to be awakened. So that is false ego, thinking that we are this body. We are um, we we could be the Lord. We could be um, the the supreme controller. Part yun ng creation. Kasi ayun yung ingredient paano magkakaroon ng suffering and enjoyment yung soul na napunta doon. So yes, much more technical term here. Um, yung creation ni Krishna, it was impersonal at first. Of course, that is just matter. <laughs> Tapos galing doon sa Brahmachuti, sa light ni Krishna. It will be different, of course, when one directly connects to Krishna personally. And one might think, paano ginawa ni Krishna yun? Eh, um, expansion of the expansions ninyo yung mga nag-create. Still, ganun si Krishna. He's aloof. He is the main creator. At the same time, he's aloof with that creation. Kasi he could be doing that with his expansion. There's a verse here, 9.27. Um, this is one way how to escape this uh, experience. O son of Kunti, all that you do, all that you eat, all that you, s you offer and give away, as well as all austerities that you may perform, should be done as an offering to me. This is karma yoga. Our activities while we are here. It gradually destroys our ahankar, our false ego, by dovetailing it to Krishna, everything to Krishna. Yet karosi yet adnasi, ad ashnasi. So, dovetailing all our activities, our, even the food, the things that we offer, the austerities, offer that to Krishna. Still, Krishna did not say to stop or be passive or be, um, how do you call that term? Um, just, just idle. Yon. No, Krishna wants us to move, to, uh, to act. But, dovetailing everything to Krishna. And offering it to Krishna. This karma, karma yoga is the start of our activities, our ahankara, connecting to Krishna and gradually removing that. The process of um, bhakti yoga, or if you want the longer one, the yoga ladder, is the, all of the, that process is to gradually detach ourselves from this false ego. Hindi kasi siya madali. Hindi siya makaya gawin immaturely. So the, all that processes is continuously and gradually for that path of a renunciation ng idea natin, attachment natin dito sa ego and sa material nature.
for us to be much more attached kay Krishna. Again, it is very hard to be detached sa material nature. We need higher taste. Para mdrista ni Bartate. Just like a child, pag may hawak siyang laruan, hindi mo siya makukuha. Ganon din yung tao. Kaya pag may sense of objects of enjoyment siya rito, hindi basta basta ba't niya bibitawan yun. You need to have the higher taste, which is Krishna. Attachment to Krishna means an automatically detachment to the material nature. So there are processes. Karma Yoga is one. Then you have the Jnana Yoga, Shtanga Yoga. Of course, Bhakti Yoga is there. But you could um, transcend all this and go straight to Bhakti Yoga by the process of um, the Express Elevator, starting with Sadhana and dovetailing. <laughs> Text number 25. From the darkness of false ego, the first of the five elements, namely the sky, is generated. Its subtle form is the, equ- the quality of sound, exactly as the seer is in the relationship with the seer. So this is the um, start and uh, ano to? in detail ng creation. It starts with the sky and sound, the space. So from sound, do next start yung creation. It was mentioned here um, exactly the seer is in a relationship with the seen. So paano to? If you hear something, if you're hearing my voice, that is cr- directly connected to my vocal cord. Because this is producing it. Or related siya kay Radha Charan. So the sound is directly um, in relationship with the scene. In um, spiritual terms, si Krishna, the name of Krishna is directly related to Krishna. But this is the difference. Spiritually, yung sound vibration na names ni Krishna and si Krishna is non-different. And sa uh, material world, the sound ng word when you say Coca-Cola, it's different from the Coke. You will not be satisfied with the Coca-Cola. It's related, but it's different. In the spiritual world, the name ni Krishna is related sa form niya, pero at the same time, it is non-different. Siya rin yun mismo. So that is why the Yuga Dharma Harinam is uh, our chanting of Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. It is the self-realization process now. This is the connection natin kay Krishna, um, transcending that material creation, papunta kay Krishna, sa spiritual world. That is the connection. So it was discussed here by Sri Prabhupada kasi the sound also in the material creation is the source ng tuloy-tuloy na creation. Um, I'll just read Tas mamaya, eh, mabasahin din natin. Ito. So, after sound, ether, then um, touch, then air, form, fire, taste, water, smell, and earth. And from earth, different mixtures, and then mga trees, the soil, the um, fruits, the other elements are, is mixed there. From sound, doon nagsimula. It's a gradual process. This kind of... Um, so, may turn si Rabba na sinabi dito. Yan, evolution of creation. This is not evolution of life, ha? Nandi dito nagsimula yung life, no? It's an evolution of the creation. From sound, papunta sa um, ether, then touch, air, kasama yung mga sense organ nun. Tapos, kasama yung mga gross element. Tapos, pagdating sa earth, doon na nagkaroon. Doon na yung mga sme- um, doon na yung mga um, other entities and matter that will be created. So this is um, elements, tools for the experience din ng isang soul in different, sa different creation ni Krishna. A conditioned soul means pagpunta niya sa material world, he was conditioned by the material world 
and sasakay siya dun sa flow. Passion, goodness, and ignorance. That is conditioned. The um, pure devotees, otherwise, is connected kay Krishna. Even andun siya sa material world, he knows because of the knowledge of the Srimad Bhagavatam and the Bhagavad Gita. Is kapag andun siya sa material world, aloof din siya. He's doing things, he's not shying away from the energy of Krishna, using that for a devotional service. Pero alam niya. Sir Papad mentioned here that um, no one can be called the enjoyer. <laughs> Kasi by, only because of false ego, he thinks that he enjoying. <laughs> and that experience is just, um, yes, material and temporary. The real enjoyer is Krishna. He's the Purusha or Mahapurusha. And us, here in the material world, I don't know with the pure devotees here, uh, at least I could speak about myself, <laughs> the conditioned soul, is just bewildered by these desires and these elements and this false ego and just running after sa Pantasmagoria. This is the quickly changing face ng material world. Like in perfect example na binibigay natin doon is like a child holding a, the remote control and palipat-lipat siya. That's life. And then experience that and that's life. So a conditioned soul, to say, soul is experiencing that. Whereas the pure devotee is connected kay Krishna. So there is a big difference. Ang goal natin from being conditioned, papunta doon sa life and consciousness ng isang pure devotee or following the footsteps of pure devotee na connected kay Krishna. Not bewildered by this phantasmagoria, changing phases of the material creation. The process of that is back to yoga. Because, yes, we might think we're enjoying, we're suffering, but it's just the sense perception. Whatever ha is happening around us will be depending on our perception. Pandemic kukulong ka sa isang bahay, yung iba malulungkot, iba masaya kasi introvert sila or ayaw na nila malabas. Malockdown sila sa province, yung iba malungkot kasi may work sila, may family sa city. Iba masaya kasi maka-escape sila sa city. Depende sa perception ng isang tao. Same experience. May makikita ang tao na sobrang grabe yung experience niya, pero mas na magiging successful siya, mas magiging mature siya. He perceive it differently. May isang tao makikita ka. Hindi naman ganun kalala experience niya, but he will be depressed because of their own perception. Different experiences, different perception. So, ganun yung so-called enjoyment and suffering in the material world. And they are temporary. Matras parsas na kuntaya. Si Toshna, Sukaduka da. Sukaduka, happiness and distress. It's like winter and summer season. They appear and disappear. So, same. A pure devotee is not bewildered by these such changes. So, that's the goal. To not be bewildered by this. So, that is a sober or a wise person. Text number, ito magkakasama siya. Text number... Hmm. <coughs> 26 to 29, excuse me. Translation, because the sky is transformed, the air is generated with the quality of touch. And by previous succession, the air is also full of sound and the basic principles of duration of life. Sense perception, mental power, and bodily strength. When the air is transformed in, in course of time and nature's course, Fire is generated, taking shape with the sense of touch and sound. Since fire is transformed, there is a manifestation of water, full of juice and taste. As previously, it, is also, it also has form and touch and is also full of sound. And water being transformed from all bracketedness on earth appears Odorous, and as previously 
becomes qualitatively full of juice, touch, sound, and form, respectively. So this is the evolution of creation. This is the evolution of creation from sound, sky, then air, tas papunod sa earth. From from earth, and dami na mga yare. So that will be mga mas mas gross na. So this is gradual evolution from one element to another, and um, generated from sound, touch, touch to form, tapos sa form may taste and odor, and so on. Again, it was being emphasized by Lord Brahma that this is um, because of the cause of all causes. Si Krishna by Mahavishnu, then papunta dun sa material world. A perfect yogi can have command over death and quit the body at the right moment when he is competent to transfer himself to a suitable planet. There is a comparison here. The Bhakti Yogi, however, surpasses all the yogis because by dint of his devotional service, he is promoted to the region beyond the material sky and is placed in one of the planets in spiritual sky by the supreme will of the Lord, the controller of everything. So it was a, comp a comparison because the yogi and the Bhakti Yogi have a different um, intention and destination. A yogi will just roam around in this material world, going to different planets. Whereas the Bhakti Yogi will surpass that material world and the destination of Kunupuntahan nila is the spiritual world. That's the difference. They Here, they might look the same. They might look with the same garb of, of clothes, same jargons and terminologies. Sometimes, same lifestyle pero magkakatalo yun sa intention, sa consciousness back to yogi is very different kasi he is connecting to Krishna and will surpass all this creation so again, the heavenly planets the other planetary system is still part ng material creation text number 13 from the mode of goodness the mind is generated and becomes manifest, as also the ten demigods controlling the bodily movements. Such demigods are known as the controller of directions, the controller of sky, the sun god, the father of Daksha, Parajapati, Dasvini, Kumaras, the fire god, the king of heaven, the worshipable deity in heaven, the chief of the Adityas, And Brahmaji, the Brajapati, all come into existence. So, pumasok na si Lord Brahma. <laughs> so, here it was mentioned kung ano yung function ng mga major demigods. They are the controlling demigods. And, sabi dito ni sa translation, sa verse, 10 demigods controlling the bodily movements. Actually, we are not fully in control of our body. We can only decide. And because of the elements and the control of the demigods, we could move. If the demigods doesn't sanction, even you desire, you cannot do Let's say you will be paralyzed. Hindi ka makagalaw, even if you desire. Because the elements is directed, directly connected to the demigod as well. Di ba yung mga new age ngayon with the topic? Sino ba kausap ko nun? Yeah, one student. With the stones and crystals, they're connected to the planets, the directions, and the planets are directly handled by the demigods. So this connection is also the same as the um, controlling elements like the fire god, the sun god, like Indra, siya yung nagpubudus, nagpapaulan, sa weather. And you also have the, um, yeah, the air, controlling of air. What if tinanggal ni 
Tanggal yung air, di ba? I think that's value, di ba? And also yung air sa katsa sa body. The digestion wouldn't work pag wala yung air. Yun. Yeah. What more pag nawala yung breathing natin, di ba? Gusto nung nagkaroon ng mga like COVID kasi hindi sila makahinga. I have this one student. Yun na-realize niya. Grabe yung air, no? Anjal lang siya. Tapos di natin napapansin. Pero pag di ka makahinga, Sobrang importante pala siya sa'yo. Same thing. So, yes. Br- um, Brahmaji or Lord Brahma, the Prajabati, is also mentioned here because they have also um, specific um, roles and duties in this creation. So, these are very important. Text number 31, basahin natin last verse for today. By that further transfer. By further transformation of the mode of passion, the sense organ like the ear, skin, nose, eyes, tongue, mouth, hands, genitals, legs, and the outlet of evacuation together with intelligence and living energy are all generated. So these senses that will determine and that will receive um, a stimulus And intelligence is also created by this afterwards. Intelligence to counteract the hard struggle for existence is assisted by the sense of acquiring knowledge and by the living energy maintains himself by manipulating the active organs like the hands and legs. So this senses is also a tool for us to be able to travel dito sa material existence. Uncontrolled senses is just like having uncontrolled horses in your chariot. It will go here and there. So, intelligent person will know how to use these senses. Otherwise, nakakapahamak. <laughs> One thing na lang dun is diet. If you have uncontrolled um, sense of um, sa eating natin, sa taste natin, na ah. Or the the sense of um, speaking, if one cannot control that, means an or madalas pahamak, you know, you cannot keep a secret, or you could um, say some harsh words. So this kind of um, explanation, how it important it is to us, it's resolve the um, the inquiry of our soul of the mind of those who are intelligent, kung paano yung creation, kasi this is always the question, paano nagsimula? So, in detail, Srimad Bhagavatam is explaining that to us by the most um, authentic person na pwedeng magkwento, which is si Lord Brahma. Si Lord Brahma is the second die creator. And he is removing the misconception of people that because he created this material world secondarily, he was mistaken to be God. But he is not. He is also a jiva. Some who are giving the the rain, like in our culture in the Philippines, not um, God, yun nagbibigyan ng rain. That's Lord Indra. He's just giving the rain. Paying obeisance is okay, paying respect. But he is not the supreme personality of God. That is his duty. And from rain, um, grains will produce. So, galing yung um, creation. And that's why it is important. Because we will know kung sino yung um, supreme personality of God. Who is in the right, who is in the real position ng supreme. Others are in a position to serve also in a duty na assigned sa kanila. Like the demigods. So there are different demigods. The demigods of fire, Agni, is also helping us in digestion, diba? in cooking. <laughs> Siya yun, diba? Pag ayaw niya, wala. Hindi mo magagamit yan. There are even brahmanas. Sabi nila, may mga existing parang daw hanggang ngayon that they use mantra to start a fire. Diba? Yung wala na match. So, may mga ganun. 
And when one performs Agnihotra, fire sacrifice, fire yagna, that fire is also uh, connected to Lord Vishnu, their offering. And that is also the offering to the demigods. Previously, pag may performance ng ganun, bumaba talaga yung mga demigods. Ngayon, we don't know. We couldn't see. Because we have imperfect senses. We have the Kali Yuga senses. And also, these senses are very important. Part ng creation to. If one controls these senses, one could control other things. Not to the fact that we want to be the supreme controller, but we want to be master of the senses. If one is master of his senses in the nectar of instruction, he would be, um, he could, he is considered and um, qualified to receive disciples all over the world. <laughs> but yeah, um, even without accepting disciple, one should control his senses because in that way he will be um, qualified to teach. Just like we in yoga, we have yama ni yama, the rules and regulation. One could not be a teacher kapag hindi niya ginagawa rin yung tinuturo niya. So we must teach by example. That is um, controlling of the senses. Sobrang importante yun. And of course, um, one point that we talk and mention today is the ahankara, the false ego. When the soul went to this material creation, he will think he is the Lord. He is the controller. He wants to rule and lord it over all material nature. That is the cause of suffering. And that is the cause of us being much more entangled in this material nature. Being much more conditioned. Conditioned means he is conditioned by mode of passion, conditioned by mode of ignorance, conditioned by mode of goodness. So, removing that conditioning is the process of Krishna consciousness. So, one will see that he is not the enjoyer in the material world. Krishna is the supreme enjoyer. We are the prakriti, just the energy of Krishna. Krishna is the purusha. And the new role natin is to serve Krishna. To serve his senses. If he is pleased, automatically we will be pleased. Risha Kesha is the master of the senses. And if the master is pleased, automatically us will be pleased. Just like watering the root of the tree. So that's Ahankara. And of course, um, we discussed a while ago is the three Vishnus, Karanadakasha Vishnu. From him comes um, the impregnation, so yung um, personality putting us here by his impregnation. Again, Krishna and his expansion, when um, they are in the creation, they don't have material bodies. It is all spiritual body. And yung function ng mga different organs nila could be done by different parts. They could eat by the eyes. Diba? We offer Krishna sa altar. Hindi niya kailangan kakainin personally. Maganda kung gawin niya yun and you would see you. But he could just could take a glance. He could eat. Yan si Krishna. Because everything is spiritual. So even Mahavishnu impregnated. He doesn't have to have the intercourse. He impregnated um, the Pradhan. The creation from being subtle to becoming gross, putting the time and the soul there. So even also, Karbo the Kasha Vishnu, yeah, tumubo sa navel niya yung lotus and then the Lord Brahma. So same, they are different. This could not be understood if we have the frog in the well mentality based on our own perception lang. So Krishna consciousness will go beyond that, will be transcendental. So the foundation, of course, is hearing and faith, but not blind following. So yes, I think I will stop here because tomorrow we will discuss much more on the elements and some description, further description ng Viratrupa or universal form ni Krishna. And it will be um, description then ng different planetary system, ano yung parts niya. We discussed that before, 
But Lord Brahma is repeating this. And that is why it is important. Kasi nasa Bhagavad Gita siya. Um, it means, I mean, sa Bashimad Bhagavatam siya. And Sri Prabhupada described it again and again. Because it is important. Sri Prabhupada knows that's why he's an Acharya, which is important to us. At the moment, we might not understand this. Uh, me personally, I've read this a couple of times already. Try to understand. Hindi ko pa siya fully na understand, but it makes sense the more we understand uh, this creation. When you know how this world or something is created, you will know the value of it. And you will know the value of the real creator. So when you zoom out to this perception, yung attachment natin sa matter, attachment natin sa fame, sa name, nag, uh, ano, parang lumiliit, minimize because of this greatness. This is Krishna's greatness. And when one appreciates Krishna's greatness, one could appreciate Krishna's sweetness. Mo, because of that creation and the conditioned soul, Krishna will come and perform his pastime to save us out there. He will perform the pastimes for us to be attracted to him and perform devotional service and um, leave that material world and our attachment to it. And the details sa mga pastime na yon is Krishna's sweetness. It is the higher taste na sinasabi natin kalina. Because of our attachments sa mga material nature, the experiences natin, goodness, passion, the eagerness, the variety, goodness, mawawala yon. By attachment natin kay Krishna and sa pastime niya, sa name niya, you know, giving us the higher taste. What more is the attachment natin sa prasyadam? <laughs> That's the higher taste. So thank you very much. We will continue tomorrow. Um, the the class tomorrow and the discussion sa fifth um, chapter titled The Cause of All Causes. Perfectly um, yung, yung title na related talaga dun sa chapter kasi um, cause of all causes. Yung nakikita natin cause is Lord Brahma but cause of all His cause is si Krishna. Thank you very much my dear ones. Chandrika, Moksha Lakshmi, Noreen, Narasarani, Raki, Hmm, Oliver, Paolo, Rolly, RJ, Jonah, Naimi, and Riza. Grantaraj, Srimad Bhagavatam Kijai, Srila Prabhupada Kijai, Gora Pramanande, Hari Hari Bo. And thank you for those who are watching us in the Facebook Live. Tonight, we will have a class by Yesigri Shilam Prabhu, continuation ng Bhakti Yoga, Bhakti Yogi Lifestyle. So I think may assignments ang pinapagwa sa group chat. So please check them out. And I will be in Manila today. Pero fast lang. Kasi galing na akong north naman kahapon. So yes. I'll see you tonight. Hare Krishna everyone. Please finish your rounds pala today. And read your Papad books. <laughs>